All right, time now for one of my favorite segments. Absolutely love this. School's first FCU, the fifth largest credit union in the country. And look who's here, <laughs> Tamara Thomas in the house. Hello. Good to see you. It's always good to see you. All right. I Any, love being here with you. Yes, well, we learn so much from you. Uh, you know, I always talk about this with Scott. We, we learn so much. Um, credit is a big deal, all right? Um, so we all need pretty good credit scores. That's what we're talking about today. Most common credit score myths. we got to jump into this. Does yes. checking my own credit score, because I've done this quite a bit, does it mess things up for me? It does not. So okay. actually... Actually, it's a really great thing to check your own credit score. Yes. It's considered a soft inquiry, so it doesn't show up on your credit report anywhere. And it actually gives you the opportunity to check your credit report for any errors or inaccuracies or potential fraud. So it's actually something when you're checking your own credit through different yeah. apps and whatnot or credit monitoring systems. And um, we recommend that you do that every few months at least so that you can pay attention to where you're at. Yeah, because there credit. could be like an unexpected ding that we didn't know about, That's right? right? And we what is this that? inquiry? Where'd that right. come from? I didn't apply for that. That gives you the opportunity to kind of dispute anything that isn't yours. And that could happen. Absolutely. That could happen. All right, is this true? Carrying a balance on my credit card can boost my score. We have to have a little balance, right or no? So that is a really common misconception. You don't have to carry a balance on oh, your okay. on your credit card. And because right. we talk a lot about utilization, right? Dang the, it. The, I have a lot I know. of balances on mine. No, okay. <laughs> the less you carry on the card, right. the better your score is going to be. We talk about that 30% okay. threshold. And really what's important when it comes to credit overall, but especially credit cards, is that you're making your payments and that your credit is your utilization is low. So as long as you're doing those things and you don't have a balance to report, the credit card company will still report that you made a payment. So they're looking at your payment history and that's a, that has a positive yes. impact. But carrying the balance, um, it, it doesn't, doesn't impact. Really okay. No, unless it's over that utilization. Got it. Okay. Because it always feels like, ah, I just keep a couple hundred bucks on there and make a payment. They, so then they Which know you're making payments, right? Yeah, but they'll know what, whether you're making the payments. Or they'll not. know whether you carry a balance or not because those do get reported each month. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here's a tricky one. That does paying off all of my debt, paying everything off automatically, increase my score? Doesn't that, that sound like, like the dream? It's like, paying I'm everything paying else off. off. Yay! <laughs> yes. Right? So this is one of those like yes and no, right? So it depends. With If it's in regards to your credit card, then yes, it's only going to help your credit pay it off, don't close it, right? We just talked about that, I think, last week. Yeah. Pay these things off, but don't close don't them. Don't close them, yes. Um, yeah, so that will, that will positively impact your credit because you are paying down your credit card utilization. So that's for your credit cards. However, if you have an installment loan, like a mortgage or an auto, you really want to keep those things on your credit. Paying them off doesn't positively impact. It may not impact at all. It may drop a little bit because yeah. if you remember, the credit bureau is like a mix of credit. So it shows that you have different types of credit. So if you're looking yeah. to improve your score, really focus on your credit cards. And you're able to handle all that uh, little mix that's right, That's yes. Good. All right, um, what if I need to improve my score quickly? Let's just say something's going down, I want to buy some. Oh my God, I got to get this score up. I got to do this kind of fast. Are there any fast fixes to this? They're not. I wish I was a magician. I wish I had a magic wand. I could say, we all have 850. I, you get an 850 credit right. score. I get an 850 credit We all get 850. I figured uh, you'd be the one that could do that. I know, no, I can no? help you get there, but it's not quick. Uh, just like anything, it's a marathon, right? It's not a sprint. So it really takes consistency and time. You have to be patient, continue positive behaviors, and you will see the rewards. They're just not instant. It's like a diet, right? Yeah. You can't exercise yesterday and think you're going to be skinny today. I right, do that all time. the time. I do too. Right? I'm like, I was just at the gym. Why am I larger? You know, That's I, right. Same. It just same. takes a while. I get it. I get it. All right. Um, and the last one here, the most important thing uh, to any of our viewers out there that are watching, um, to remember, uh, to remind them, I should say, about their credit scores. Yes. So if you want to maintain a good credit score or you want to help build a, a good credit score, there are a couple simple things you can do. Make sure you're making your payments on time every time. That's going to be the number one most impactful yes. thing is make your payments. Really pay attention to your credit card utilization. Try to keep that under 30% if you can. I and mean, if you can't really start focusing on that, that will help you improve, improve your credit score. Also be mindful of inquiries. Try not to have too many new open loans all at once. Be very mindful with how many things you apply for. So keep right. your inquiries low and then monitor your credit. Make sure that everything on there is accurate, legitimate, is yours, isn't somebody else's, isn't fraud or anything monitor like that. Monitor the credit. That's there you right. go. And we need the good credit. And all those tips are going to help us out. Yes, they are. And then come see me and if then you come need see anything Tamara, else. I love that's credit. How you do it. And it's you see her right there at Schools First. You that's see the, right. You see the info on the screen right there. Tamara, thank you so much. Uh, schools First Federal Credit Union. There's the phone number. They're on the socials as well, too. And go to their website for more of the information. Or just ask for Tamara. Just come see me. Come Always. See, come see yes. Tamara.